Wait. Give me that camera. So we came uh, up to the toll booth, and these toll booths are absolutely unconstitutional. They're illegal, they're run by private companies. It's just highway robbery, that's all it is. People run them all the time, and they seem to be getting more aggressive because they can't get their robbery from us, their extortion from us on these highways. And uh, this is the second one that's been aggressive. They, they tried to block the road, and they tried to throw a rubber cone. They threw a rubber cone at the car, but it didn't damage anything. Uh, the next one, today, we just came through and I thought everything was fine and he grabbed the bar and he slammed it into the glass where the kids were sitting right behind it and just shattered the window. And uh, the kids are okay. They're not hurt badly, but Titus definitely has cuts all up and little, little cuts all up and down his leg because he was the closest to the window. Two is in muy trouble, senor. Did you pump our tire? Yes. We broke the window. Oh my god. Oh, oh, it hurt Titus. He broke He just broke the window. Yeah. There's kids right in the seat. Do radio now. Now. Two. Sandra, no. Get in the car. Get in the car. Do not touch him. Get in the car. Tu nombre ahora. Tu nombre ahora. Señor, mi niños is in the car at all. You hurt Esther my baby! It's illegal, it's criminal. Two is criminal. You hurt my baby! You get in the car right now. You hurt my so baby! Let me deal with it. Two numbers. Two number, ahora. Will you guys get him out? Make sure he's okay. Now. No tow car. Who is a criminal? Go ahead, Titus. These guys, he threw with my kids in the back seat. He threw and shattered my window wide open with the kids in there. I want your names. Two okay. Okay. Is, is his seat clear? Okay, oh. Look like he got very cut. It just okay. kind of... Oh, he won't have got cut. It's... Asher looks like he got cut. A little bit. He got cut? Asher got a little cut. Okay. Just put a camera on it. I want to see it. Okay. Let me see. Asher, are you okay? Yeah. A little cut, but yeah. Okay. Um, clear off your seats here. Clear off Teddy. Everything. Do you have a camera to see what he threw at the window? Um... You were rolling, right? Yeah, I've got it rolling. Our exit's in like one mile, I think. So, or did, was that the exit? Titus, do you want to come see all my lap, buddy? Do you want come here. Okay, let's have all of you guys up here. So listen, we just went to go through the illegal toll. And the thug there threw something in our car and broke our window. Come here. Shattered it. Kids sitting in there. Here also? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's completely shattered. There's nothing left. I'm guessing he took that, uh, that bar that they put in front. I'm guessing he swung that back and pushed it hard. I saw him swinging at the window when he charged forward. Okay. Oh. Um, go ahead and get your... Oh, Where Titus at? does have... Ooh. Titus is it has... bad? Is it bad? No. Hey, buddy. It's okay. okay. Is, there, is there glass embedded in there? Not that I see, but he's definitely got some... Esta is... Desde la cuota. Here, why don't you guys go ahead and have him scoot up here? Sit on my lap. Come here, Titus. Yeah, check him over. Here, do you want me to keep rolling? Okay. Come here. Here, do you want to pull over for a minute? Ow. Yeah, I'm going to get past this thing a little bit. Okay, You got a little cut too? Okay, so here, show me your cut. Okay, so Anna got a little cut on her leg. Ty's got a bunch of little... All right, so there's a couple of important things to understand here, especially if you're not a Mexican. Now, these... These toll booths, these quotas, they're a direct violation of Article 11 of the Constitution de Mexico. 
And these are completely illegal, not only on the constitutional level, but also it's financial corruption. What happened is when they built these roads, the idea was to have toll booths to pay for this interstate system, essentially, right? The way it works is there has to be a free road, but that free road might be a winding switchback through the mountains. And if you're trying to get somewhere, it's not very efficient. So they'll have the free road, but if you want to take the fast road, they've told those roads. Well, the original agreement was those toll booths were going to go away after the roads were paid for. And what happened is the corrupt crooks at the time sold concessions to private corporations. So what they have now here is these private corporations running these toll booths, zero accounting for the money, and most of it is not even going to the roads. So in, in so many ways, this is a violation. This isn't some crazy idea Gavin came up with. One of the first things we came to in Mexico was these toll booths, and they would be taken over, liberated. The local activists come out, and this is very common in Mexico, and they come out and they tell the people operating the toll booths, get out, we're taking over the toll booth. They liberate the toll booth and they let people pass freely. Taking over toll booths and stopping government corruption on the roads, this highway robbery is not all that uncommon. In fact, with the protests going on in France right now, the word is that about 90% of toll booths and traffic cameras in the entire country have been destroyed by the activists. Stopping the government from stopping you on the road is one of the fundamental things you do when you're resisting corruption. Even the current sitting president of Mexico, AMLO, in the past has been involved in these protests and, and, and liberations of toll booths and things like that. I mean, that's how widespread this is down here. So people are really aware of this and they're trying to educate their neighbors on it and they're trying to stand up uh, to this and, and many other corruptions that are going on down here. And that's the key. The key is always the people coming together and standing up and saying, no, no more. The politicians don't fix it. People caring and having compassion and being willing to resist with honor, that's what brings freedom. And that's one of the reasons I love Mexico and, and Latin America is because while there's still corruption, there's so much more of that fight, that passion. These toll booths, not only are they taking all this money from people, I mean, some of the bigger tolls might cost a day's wages here in Mexico, which really prevents people from using the tolls. They use the free roads. And what that does is it prevents tourism, it prevents economics. It's really damaging the situation by allowing this. And that's why so many Mexicans, not just a few, but a lot are standing up. You come to these liberated toll booths a lot down here. And even if you're not ready to run the toll yet, maybe as a tourist, what you'll see when you come to these toll booths is the bars are all, all they're all beat up. They're all dented on these toll booths. And that's because people are running them so often. So what's happened is there seems to be a concerted effort with the private corporate goons and they're getting together and they're saying, well, how can we bully people? How can we escalate, maybe damage their vehicles and escalate this so we can get them to, to pay us because they keep running our tolls and people are standing up to it. In fact, just a few days after my incident in Jalisco State, two, got, two guards tried to block one of these toll booths and stand in the road and the guy just kept going and he bashed them out of the way like bowling pins is the word. Uh, they, they weren't killed. It doesn't sound like he was going that fast. And I don't want to recommend anybody hitting anybody. The goal is always to avoid violence. But what was interesting is if you looked at the news reporting this here in Mexico, the vast majority of the Mexicanos were like, well, if you don't rob us on the road, then this won't happen, you goons, you thugs. And so you have to understand the difference. If you live in the USA, the toll booths are just as corrupt, but you're not allowed to resist. If you run the toll booths there, if you resist the extortion and the highway robbery there, they will shoot you or imprison you for that action and you'll be charged with felonies. Here, it's a very normal thing for people that are that are standing up for their freedom to run the toll booth. It, it was scary. I mean, I didn't expect them to, to break the window. They're definitely ratcheting up the, the bullying. And I mean, I was mad. The, the, kids, the kids weren't badly hurt. They were fine. They were a little shaken up because of course the window broke, but uh, they, weren't, they weren't badly hurt. Titus was up and around just fine the next day. But when, when they do stuff like that to your kids, that makes you mad. I mean, Sondra was, she was fighting mad. She was about to go all Chuck Norris on him. And uh, don't, don't mess with Mama Bear's cubs. But that's why I was kind of trying to hold her back. I mean, I didn't want us getting into a fist fight. You know, I don't, I don't know all the situations. I didn't know what those guys were capable of because they're not even, they're not official authorities. They're, oftentimes they're not even official security companies anymore because those companies won't work with the toll booths. They're so corrupt. So they're just hiring two-bit thugs. 
I'm not the criminal. The criminal was those guys at the toll booth who attacked us. And actually, a criminal complaint has already been filed with the feds here in Mexico because those guys broke the law and attacked us. Now, I'm skeptical that anything will be done to them for that, but we can expose it and we can encourage others to stand. The people saying that we're criminals because we won't allow ourselves to be robbed by masked highwaymen, and they are no different than masked highwaymen. Those people are the violent ones, and those people are the ones that we have to watch don't ever let someone tell you that you're endangering and abusing your children because you teach them to stand up for freedom and justice, to stand up to bullies. The child abuser, the one neglecting their children, is the one that teaches them that they have to bow down to a bully and take it. The one that teaches them that they have to allow themselves and their brothers and their sisters and their neighbors to be bullied. That's child abuse. Choose which battles and what hill you die on, but teach your kids to stand up. There's few things I'm more proud of than standing up to corruption and bullies and tyrants with my kids. Yes, I be careful. Yes, I count the cost. Yes, I try and make sure that I don't do things that are gonna get too extreme. In the US, there's no longer freedom to stand up for your rights. People actually still stand up in Latin America. They actually still resist. It doesn't mean it's always safe. It doesn't mean there's no risk. But these two-bit thugs at that toll booth were not law enforcement. They had no real authority. In fact, the law enforcement is kind of staying a mile away from that instance. They won't even pull people over who run the toll booths because they know how corrupt it is. The people running these corrupt toll booths, these financial scams and robbing people on the road, they don't want this ending up in court because the money can't be accounted for legally. It's time for these toll booths to end. The quotas need to be halted and taken down, the roads need to be opened so the public can travel freely according to Article 11 of the Constitution and human rights, and it will improve the tourism, the economy, the safety, and the commerce of Mexico when that happens. So me running a toll booth, it's not outrageous here. It's not abnormal. As a, as a visitor, it's a little scary for me, but I'm not gonna lie down. My rights are inherent. And even the Constitution of Mexico affirms that the visitor has the same rights as the citizen, and we can stand up. This isn't a political matter. This is a matter of human rights. It's a matter of not being robbed and attacked on the highway by mass criminals. It's a matter of the right to travel, standing up for ourselves and our people, and teaching our children that they don't have to bow to police. All right, guys, peace.